B college student, playing half-elf cleric in my first 3.5 game. This campaign will eventually become the main reason I avoid allowing sexual content beyond fade to black into any game I run. Character is the young son of a renowned paladin but was born sickly and with only one arm so had to settle for the priesthood instead. Goes into battle with a tower shield on his good arm and is all about protecting the weak. Too bad the rest of the party are all that guys and I get zero chances to do anything with the character. Least annoying is the human warblade who only pays attention when dice need rolling. Most notable bit of roleplay he ever did involve dropping his pants to intimidate someone. I drop my pants are they intimidated so the party is thrown in jail, because we're dumb enough to trust an undead wharf. One of our group is a warblade who's now had his weapons confiscated. This means he can basically do nothing combat wise and in character he's pretty ticked off. He makes a ruckus during the week we're stuck in jail until the warden decides to shut him up. He's thrown into a room, and four of the biggest and meanest prisoners are brought in after being told to beat the shit out of him. He takes one look at this terrible situation and says, I take of my pants are they intimidated we all look dumbfounded at him for a moment as he rolls an intimidate check. His plan is apparently to look so bugfuck crazy that no one will approach him. He rolls a 1. The DM very slowly describes the prisoners responding by removing their own trousers, before dogpiling the poor warblade. When he was returned to his cell, he still maintained he took the best course of action. Worse is the elf druid who would be tolerable if he only had access to wild shape or an animal companion. Instead, we get to have the fun debate of is it really bestiality if I'm also a wolf at the time. But to me, the worst was the guy playing a gnome binder who just could not enjoy the game without being the very best at everything and trivializing any challenge. To this day I don't know if even half the shit he was pulling with his build was legal. Apparently he could let other worldly horrors possess him to gain superpowers. Basically the closest thing you can get to being allowed to swap around your stats and class abilities at will. Weeks of running around with the murder hibis has caused both my cleric and me to become quite jaded about adventuring. To relieve stress, my cleric has started putting that high charisma to use by sweet talking the various maidens that cross his path. I blame the druid for dragging the party into the feywild and leaving the, up until shortly afterwards, virgin cleric alone with a couple of nymphs. At least reciting romantic poetry to win some damsels helps my cleric feel a little more like the chivalrous knight he wants to be. I think the simulated female attention might have riled up our binder because he started getting super competitive about the size of our diplomacy checks. Apparently he found a vestige that he could bind to get something like plus 30 to his check. Pulled out the diplomacy rules and did the whole why won't you let me mind control everyone just by talking to them. Anyway. The druid wants to turn some wolf first turned into armor so he hands them to me to take to the tannery. If I was more observant, I might have noticed that the druid literally asked me to make him a goddamn fursuit. Binder insists on coming with me because his numbers are bigger so he should be doing this instead. We walk in and behind the counter is a human woman well into her 50s. Not really the kind of maiden my cleric goes for, but he puts on a bit of charm to let her know she's still got it. Tanner is suitably flattered and give a modest discount on a set of new hide armor. This isn't good enough for our binder. Oh no. He wants to prove who the real master of seduction is. He basically starts outright propositioning the lady in exchange for knocking the price down further. Says something to the effect of being able to grant her deepest desires all night long. He rolls something crazy high and I mentally prepare myself to lose another hour to rules bickering. Instead. The DM states that the Tanner thinks over the proposal and invites the Binder to the back room of her shop. Binder has the smarmiest grin on his face as the Tanner concludes our transaction and sends me on my way. As soon as they're alone, the Tanner puts up the closed sign takes the Binder to her storage room. And surprisingly, it is filled with leather. The Tanner pulls out a leather you needed and instructs the Binder to put it on. He does so without question. Next. She lowers a set of leather straps from the ceiling and attaches them to his harness. Again, he accepts this without comment. The straps tighten and he is hoisted off the ground and left swinging in the air, completely restrained. And he still has this goofy grin on his face like this is all going according to plan. This woman is having him gagged with a leather belt and the rest of the table is eyeing the exits. 
just as it looks like the DM is prepared to take this all the way he lets the other shoe drop. The tanner turns off the light, walks out the door, and leaves you there. Silence around the table as the binder's grin slowly falls from his face. For how long if nobody comes to get you all night and well into tomorrow. But, build my role yeah. Turns out this lady's really into erotic denial. Some loser tied up in her closet thinking he was gonna get some that really gets her off. After Binder fails to get out of his restraint, he starts pestering me to meta game and come save him. Sorry, man. Your character made it very clear he was going to be spending the night with that nice tanner. And so, the rest of the party had a nice night at the tavern. My cleric even raised a toast to our Binder and all the fun he was probably having with his new amorous connection. Of course I was the one who had to go back to the tannery the next day to pick up the fursuit hide armor we commissioned. Imagine my poor cleric walking into the back room and having to see a pissed off gnome in a gimp suit suspended from the ceiling. I take off his gag and he immediately yells at me for leaving him here and demands I murder the lady. I place the gag back on and politely ask the tanner the cost of the leather he's wearing. Cut to me exiting the shop with a gnome gimp tied to my back. I am done with his shit and it's easier to transport him like this until we got out of town so he doesn't cause any more trouble. Got some weird looks on the street but that's nothing new. The best part the cost of the leather was exactly as much as the discount we had gotten from our binder's brilliant diplomacy. Today's lesson. Never seduce a tanner. Oh, I must say, I really enjoyed this one now. Um, I've said it a few times before, I'm really not a big fan of, like, you know, sex and stuff in tabletop games. I don't know, I just feel, I always feel it's dead uncomfortable and stuff, so I just don't really like to do it. But I think uh, this has given me definitely some ideas of what to do. I, I, I really enjoyed that. And even the wee one with the, the wee short one with the boy getting his cock out and all. Fuck, that was great. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, dead unusual grip. Dead unusual grip. And I don't think I'll ever be able to look at Hide Army the same way again. But, like, I thought this one was really cool. Um, there's not many left of Kuma 9's videos. Like, you know, he's done quite a few. I've been doing a lot of his ones recently. I think it's stuff's really good. I think it's really cool. Um, if you haven't got the chance, definitely just, you know, the link's in the description. Go out and check out his stuff yourself if you really enjoy it. I would really recommend it. Um, I really enjoy it, so, you know, that's a thing. But, hey, look, as always, I hope you boys enjoy. Definitely check out all the links below. T-shirts, NordVPN, Facebook, Discord. Jesus Christ, the list goes on. You know, check it out and see what you make. And I hope to see you again in the next video.